as a kid growing up, I always just had a very curious mind. It got me in trouble a lot, to be honest, when I was younger. But um, I was always into many different things. I was into like skating and like the whole skate culture, even though I sucked at skating and broke my arm and it was terrible. And after that, I stopped doing it. But I was always into art. I was always into fashion. I was always into sci-fi and horror and movies and just so many different things. I had a friend that actually taught me a little bit of graffiti. That was like my first artistic drawings of like just graffiti artwork. I would look at other people's things and I would gain inspiration from their from their art as well. And I just all of a sudden just expanded on art when I went to UNT because it's such a huge school for art. I don't think people like realize that. There's a lot of talented people, a lot of talented musicians, a lot of talented artists. Some of us, you know, want to have a platform for our voice to be heard. And now combined with the music and art is basically what Tales of a Dentonian is all about. It's just a local establishment for here for Denton to be able to just hear and see all of the things that are going on in this like awesome town through like a local artist himself. I just have fun with it. I'm a goofy person, like in general. Like I, that's just my personality. That's just how I am. I love laughing. I love laughing with my friends and just being a goofball. With Tales of a Dentonian, I'm able to just be as weird and bizarre and goofy as can be. You know, we're all underdogs, I feel like. We're all underdogs out here trying to make it. I wanna be able to have a voice for them and a platform for them so they can be seen, so they can be heard. And that's what I'm doing with Tales of a Dentonian.